have no idea graduating in May that come December I still wouldn't be bringing in a paycheck. It's just, I think, a really tough time to find jobs and a lot of competition. I went to a pretty nice school. I did very well academically. My name is Will Nissen and I just graduated from the Humphrey School of Public Affairs with a Master's of Public Policy uh, this May. My name is Aaron Sinner and I graduated from St. John's University this May uh, with a bachelor's degree in political science. You have your good days, you have your bad days. Sure. The more you get calls saying you didn't get a position, the more likely it is to be a bad day. But sure. Yeah. How about you? Yeah, it's not fun. It's really competitive right now. I found one position I applied for, they said they had 118 applicants. Yikes. Looking at the jobs I've applied for, when I go in for an interview and when I get the call afterwards that I didn't get the position, usually what they say is we want someone with more experience. And I think, yeah. as far as I can tell, they're calling me in in case the person with the experience turns out to be like a lunatic or something, then I'm sure. like the backup plan. So do you feel like your college experience prepared you to enter the job market in the cities here? The academic side was good. I think I was pretty involved on campus and I think that helped. I did an internship every single summer. Doing internships, a lot of times I looked at them as kind of skills building opportunities when really, when I look around the, you know, the few friends of mine who I know that do have full-time jobs that they're happy with, got them with places where they interned before. So it wasn't so much a skills building internship as making sure I'm entering at a place where there might be a job opportunity in the future. So I think sure. opportunities like that might have been something I missed out on. But I think the more important part was more of the networking thing and you um, professors know the fields that you take classes in they know the people who are active in those fields and they can really help guide you and and make calls for you and um, try to help you get out there and make those connections going into college when you're selecting a school when you're selecting a major you're thinking you're imagining yourself 20 years down the road what you want to be doing right. and I think even early on if I'd have done more time spent more time thinking about you know what about that first year right out of college what am I going to be looking for what's going to be helpful, I think that would have been useful. Salary is more of a consideration, I think, than it used to be. Um, and t going on to that career path, I don't want to be too picky where I wait around f for end up being on the job search for over a year or several months or anything like that. Um, and in my job search right now, it's kind of divided either end. Well, is this job in the sector I want to work in? And, and or does this job have the skill set I'm trying to build or that utilizes my interests or my skills that I already have. I would be much happier with something that starts me on a career path than I would something that comes with a decent salary. Um, if, if I'm making enough to scrape by but I feel like I'm starting to put the right pieces in place for a future career when the economy is a little better and when jobs are easier to come by, I think I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm glad I'm in a position where I have a couple part-time jobs to work to kind of keep the bills paid. Sure. So I think that gives me a little more longevity in terms of holding out for uh, for an ideal job. Sure. Yeah, and for me right now, I'm bringing in no money. I made a joke the other day when I was playing poker with some buddies and I made 15 bucks. That's the first time <laughs> I'd made money in a couple of weeks. Part of the reason I'm able to scrape by is that I have, you know, some parents who are able to loan me money for now and I'll pay them back when I have a paycheck. But if I didn't have that, I couldn't even be job hunting here. I'd have to be back in Wyoming living in my parents' basement and looking for work in the area.